on the field to be the hottest person in the entire world. Kids are playing, which I feel like is just such a fun vibe. It's like my sister, my dear. Welcome guys to Weekend of My Life and we're like two minutes away from going to Friday, how's it going? <laughs> we're two minutes away from going to um, a country concert with Hardy, Morgan Wallen and a couple other people I think. Luckily the sun's going down so we're not going to get fried. Oh my god, you know one more fried joke. I hope they can't hear you. <laughs> uh, we're in Steak and Shake right now. If you've never been here it kind of gives me like a... I don't know, what's the century? Like, I'm not century. <laughs> it says since 1934. Like, what is the era of this place? I want to show you. It gives like the um, yeah, 50s, 60s. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have been in here. <laughs> but this is like four bucks. So I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> also, fun fact. I don't think I've ever told you guys this. The way I eat my burgers is I like having my ketchup on the edge of my burger, like where I eat the bite versus like in the burger. I don't like it to like squeeze out. But we're um going to like this festival called Tailgate and Toll Boys all weekend. And um it's today and tomorrow and the last artist doesn't come on until 10, so we're gonna like try to rally because I feel like that's late for us and we're also an hour out of town, so We'll see how long we last. And then I'll show you what else I get up to this weekend, but this is like the most exciting thing. So, see you guys at the best. to be the hottest person in the entire world. Okay, last night was wild. We didn't end up getting back home until like two or something. Like it was literally crazy. Um, now I'm downtown at the Comer Cox Park next to Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and Brown. And I'm going to the Juneteenth uh, parade and I don't know really where it's at but I'm just gonna follow where the people are going and um, yeah so I'm parked on the street I'm a little late for the parade but hopefully it just goes on for a while so I can um, you know be a part of all the festivities but my fro is froing today so I'm happy about that I feel like I found that I have found I found that I found I have found joy in my hair when I'm in predominantly black spaces. Um, I think it's something, because I've started to really think about it, like I love wearing my hair when it's like out and natural and like large and beautiful when I'm in spaces where there are a lot of black people and I think it's because like other black people see the beauty in my hair whereas there aren't a ton of, I don't know, when I'm in white spaces I feel like people just don't see the same beauty and some people do some people don't get me wrong not everybody like thinks the same but I can just tell like or if they don't maybe they see the beauty but they just like aren't used to seeing my hair so they'll like stare and that kind of makes me feel like some type of way like oh does it like look weird is like you know their spots out of place or whatever so I've been learning like a lot about um self-love and like loving my hair and I think like my hair journey has just been long as you guys know um but i try to share like all my thoughts behind like how i'm feeling and because like literally just last week when i was in arizona i shared how like i've really struggled to like wear my hair completely out but then literally today i just was like got in the shower took it out i was like oh my god it looks so good i'm not even wearing makeup and i just feel so like beautiful but i think it's because i know i'm going into spaces where all other people see the beauty as well which 
should I have to like rely on other people to see the beauty in my hair? No, but I think everyone does want to be seen as beautiful or at least not looked at like they're a spectacle. Um, so like last night when we went to the concert, like I put my hair up, um, you know, I just don't want to like be, I don't know. I just don't want people to, I don't know, treat me like I'm some kind of freak or something. Um, anyway, uh, long story short, I'm at the parade and gonna go to, um, you know, see what it's all about. So I will see you guys over at the parade. I can't let you go, baby. They gave me all this candy. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this. <laughs> like literally, they gave me so much. Like I have so many bags and like, it's not even close to being over yet. Yes. I don't know why I was even worried about missing um, the parade because it's like, there's so, I didn't realize it was a full hour. Hi. <laughs> I know you're fine. I didn't realize it was a full hour, and now that like I'm out here, I could definitely sit for like another hour, probably. Like, they've had um, the cheerleaders from the school come out. They've had like candy and stuff. Kids are playing, which I feel like is just such a fun vibe when you hear like kids like laughing and playing and stuff. Um, and then it looks like they have another school maybe or like gymnastics or something because they're like really really little. Um, and of course they had like you know political people or whatever walk through with candy um, and I think that's what they've had so far um, but it's been really cool I wasn't sure like if it would be over in like 20 minutes or what but I think they have a full hour so I'm excited that you can buy and these are for kids so like this one is for Kwanzaa and then you just like color and then it's literally a canvas so you just put it on your wall I think that's such a neat idea I ended up getting a little bag from this business called Man and Tail Beauty um, walking over to like these bleachers and just gonna like chill and eat some of the candy that I got. They have music out here and like all kinds of stuff, but I just like wanna sit because I haven't sat like in a good minute. I think they're doing like maybe tournaments or something. So I'm just gonna sit up here. Honestly, sitting on the bleachers makes me like reminds me of uh, high school because I used to like come and watch like basketball games all the time and stuff. But let me show you what I got. Um, I actually was just walking past him and the girl her hair looked amazing. Um, they're called Main Maintain Beauty. And then I got edge control from them. Looked incredible. Trust their judgment. Love a small business. And one thing about like trying new brands or any brands, I guess, is like sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but you really have to like try it to see if it works. So I'm gonna try it and if I like it, I'm gonna buy more of their stuff on Instagram because I love supporting small businesses if I can. Guys, I'm with my sister, my niece. I don't know if you guys have met them. <laughs> A cute picture. <laughs> it will. This is Aria and Sunshine, and they're out here too. They got a booth. Happy Juneteenth! Yes! Woo! Come see their, us! Yes, and their BLM shirts. Those are cute. So, yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out here for a while. It's really nice weather. Come see us at Cox Park! Yes! <laughs> Car, I'm getting ready to go um, get lunch somewhere, I think. I'm gonna go somewhere downtown because they have so many cool restaurants down there. So, let's head over there right now. Slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy teasing all day and when. 
so good. I could quite literally take a long, long nap right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> Like, so tired. Uh, also, I've never been there before, and I guess that's just like the encouragement I needed to continue to try new places in town. I don't know why I'd never actually been into that lounge before. I hear music. I feel like anywhere there's music I like want to walk to. Um, but I try to try new places, but sometimes it's hard if I don't have like a wreck because I don't know if it's like good or like worth my time, and I don't want to like, go in and spend money and then have it just be like, I don't know, subpar, like the service is bad or whatever. But it actually was really, really like a nice vibe. The music was like R&B and there were swings in there, which you guys saw. So I feel like that's all my vibe. The next place I want to try is this place right here. It's called Truth Lounge. I've never been in there, but I think they do stuff on the weekends. Like when people go out, they can go in there and just like chill or something. So yeah, I think that's the next place I'm going to go. Oh, I could literally take a nap. Um, Brady and I are still trying to decide if we want to go to the concert tonight. I don't know if we're going to or not. Um, I'm kind of like tired after last night. Like my legs hurt and they're, oh, thank you. Um, and like uh, my legs hurt and I'm just like, I don't know. I need to like relax. We didn't get home until super late last night. And then I woke up this morning because I wanted to be downtown for the parade. Um, and I'm glad I came. I actually was like this close to not going. Um, but I'm glad I did. Like, really glad I did. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll feel the same way. Like, if we go tonight and we like go um, see the concert, maybe I'll feel glad that I went. But I have a sinking feeling. Not sinking. <laughs> I have a feeling that I won't feel that way because I'll just want to like stay in. So, anyway, I'll see you guys back at home. So nice out and we're actually watching the neighbor's dog so i'm gonna set up a little blanket here we're watching their dog because she's out of town at i think a wedding and i love getting like out in our backyard and just setting on a blanket and i brought my book with me so we're gonna go over and take her dog out of her house and then just like lay here on this blanket relax and um hopefully her dog likes to be outside whenever it's not um like leashed or anything and can walk around we well, got Axel. chill night but we're getting ready to go to um the muni which is an outdoor theater and i love outdoor theaters like i actually used to be a big still am a big theater person and i was like in theater stuff um it's just like always been my thing something that i really loved um so i'm just wearing this super chill outfit this shirt if you guys um follow me over on instagram you guys probably already saw it it's literally the cutest thing ever like I love the outfits and like t-shirts and all that stuff from uh, the beach club, which is where I got this t-shirt. Just wearing it with some jogger shorts, which I think are really cute. And I'm trying to decide which perfume I should wear tonight. Um, this is another 13. I got this in Chicago and this one smells really um, kind of woody, but also very light and airy. And I think after smelling this one, I already decided I'm gonna wear Magic Bloom by Skylar. I think this is one of my favorite um, perfumes for summer. If you look at it, literally, it's like almost gone. Um, there's not like much left. This one literally smells like a fruity guava drink that you would have on, um, didn't come out the first two sprays, by the way, so I didn't like douse myself, but um, it smells like a fruity guava drink that you would get on vacation. So I love wearing this one. And then I'm just wearing a hat. Also wearing these Nike shoes. Um, these are some of my favorites because they're really comfortable and they match with my gray shorts. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, this is the full outfit. Um, and I want to show you guys. I am literally a two minute drive from where we're going, um, so I really have a lot of time. I'm gonna wear this brown bag, and um, there we go, much better. 
and just like probably tuck it underneath here and then pull it out a bit so it just kind of hangs in this cute little everyday fit. So this is what we're gonna wear. Um, I have snacks in here. I have this box of crackers. I have these little, whoop. oh my God, I almost dropped all of those. I only dropped like five. Um, I have these mud buddies, these peanut butter and chocolate little things. I think I actually am gonna put the crackers back and then I have Gardettos. This is kind of like just hectic energy right now. I need to chill. Um, I've actually been like really bummed most of the weekend because we were supposed to go on a trip that we're not gonna actually go on anymore, which is kind of like sad. Um, so I've been trying to like keep the vibes high. Um, I think that's part of the reason why like some of these, actually none of these clips other than really right now, I felt like hectic. Um, but I feel like when I get stressed or sad, sometimes it like comes out in me being like, rushed or like snippy or like clippy kind of and um i have to really like check myself and i also feel like um that's hard to do when i'm in a space where i'm like sad or frustrated or whatever but i try to be very self-aware if i can because i think it's really important so it's the outfit we're gonna go and have a good time i am going with taylor those guys know that's my girl um oh i need earrings shoot I can't believe I almost forgot earrings. I literally never leave the house without earrings on. These are some of my favorites. They're from Clarissa Lee Jewelry. This is what the earrings look like up close. Don't know if you can really see, but there you go. They're really nice everyday earrings. So I wear them um, pretty often and they're really easy to um, put in because they have like a straight back um versus some of like the backs they like move up or down and these don't they just are straight in their nice little circle so let's get out of here where i'm late and this place is literally like two minutes i could walk it's a 16 minute walk but i don't want to walk on like the interstate because the walk is kind of like a interstate type walk um if there's too much traffic there when i park i will probably walk next time but um i just don't want to be late so see you guys Whenever I get there, we're gonna have a nice little night, a nice relaxing night. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> It was super corny, but it was cute. We went finished the whole thing. Oh, I love corny stuff. Me too. <laughs> the cornier, the better. No, seriously. I was gonna bring cheese and crackers, but I'm like, you know what? I brought. I did bring some cheese and crackers, oh. <laughs> but I'll eat it. <laughs> I'll eat it literally. But I also brought. I know you don't really like pickles, but there's this. It's called pickle de gallo instead of pico de gallo. Mm. So it's like pickles. It's really good. Of tomatoes. I'll try it. Give it a go. Give it a whirl. What was the last show you went to? I really don't even remember what it was. Really? I have no clue. My mom probably remembers. Oh, so I over a little bit. Is that one of the blankets? Yay! Oh, I brought wine. Too. Yay! And I didn't know if you'd want to drink, but I'm Oh, I got you this because I know you've been drinking it more lately, but I also have some here. Oh, thank you. Wow. Isn't that what you've been doing? Golf Queen. I have, yeah. I've been drinking it. Yay! This is so fun. I know. Said, I'm going to uh, see a play with one of my friends, and like, of course, you guys know it's <laughs> literally Taylor. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your face is in <laughs> No, it looks good. She brought uh, wine and then um, she also brought some crackers, some chips, some cheese. Oh, I love this, Chase. I know, it's your favorite. And then I got um, Gardettos and I brought Muddy Buddies. I think I might actually go get some candy too um, from the concessions. Really 
yeah there's like a concession stand over there and then obviously the show is over there and i brought a blanket for us to sit on and under so this is the one to sit on and under but we're gonna sit on this for now too because it's like cute stay well god bless you oh hey you will Good. Um, I was gonna try to read for a little bit, but I feel like I'm literally already falling asleep. Just laying here. I did have the best time with Taylor. <sighs> like, it made me realize how much I enjoy doing things like that, like going to see shows or like artsy stuff, museums, like doing things that are like more relaxing than like going out or like, you know, just like getting trashed or whatever. Maybe that's because I'm getting older, but I don't really think that's why. I think it's because, oh hi Axel. I think it's because I, hi, hi, hi. I think it's because I value conversation and friendship and like getting closer to people that I love more than I ever have. Um, and I also, uh, feel like I'm so over small talk too, and just like networking or like, you know, that kind of like weird energy. So I feel like you get a lot of that when you're like at parties and stuff, but oh, just a little reflection. Definitely try doing stuff that's out of your comfort zone. Like I love the Muni, but I hadn't been in years cause I kept being like, oh, like what if I go and it's not good or whatever. And it's like a waste of money after sitting through the show, but it was incredible. And like one of the best nights I've had in a long time. So um, we already have plans to like do other artsy stuff. So anyway, I can barely keep my eyes open. So good night guys. It's literally like one o'clock or something. So love you, see you guys tomorrow out right now um, to go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna head to St. Louis it's Monday which is Juneteenth observes and I made plans to go meet up with my cousins um, in St. Louis so we're gonna meet up with my cousin Amanda Taylor and Chaz um, they're all around my age on my dad's side which is actually funny because I I feel like I am close to these like few cousins on my dad's side but then the rest I'm like not close with like at all. I don't know if you guys have seen that TikTok where it's like it has like someone dancing and like it says when you see your cousins on your dad's side and they're kind of like this and then it's like when you see your cousins on your mom's side and they're like and I feel like that is me like I'm closer with a lot of my cousins on my mom's side but these like girls I'm really really close with on my dad's side so it kind of like levels out I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let Bane out and we're gonna head to uh, St. Louis. I want to show you guys my fit. I'm wearing this top from Apricot Lane. These shorts are from, um, where are these from? Uh, I think American Eagle. And then this necklace is the Arium one that I picked up. Um, I showed it over on my TikTok and Instagram. And then this one is from Miranda Fry. A ton of uh, rings. This one's from Nikki Designs in the middle. This one is from, um, it's from a small boutique in my hometown. It's like, uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, Itty Bitty Fashion Trunk. And then this ring right here with a little like, I don't know, this one ooh, is uh, from uh, Miranda Fry. And then obviously my wedding ring. And then I have this one from uh, Miranda Fry. I get a lot of rings from Miranda Fry. I actually have a code. Um, I will put it on the screen so you guys can shop if you want to. Also, I have a ton of stuff linked in my Like to Know It account. So if you guys want to see like where my jewelry and stuff is from, linked it there. So yeah, let's get out of here um, and head to St. Louis. I just set my parking for literally two hours, so I should be good, I think. I'm um, getting ready to go into, um, it's called Chris on the Docket. I've never been before, so hopefully it's really good. Um, my cousin said that she wanted to go there, so I feel like she usually knows the best places to go. So we're going to go and have a good little girl's day.
and Chaz. You guys know Chaz. <laughs> and Taylor. Taylor's in the bathroom. I told you don't get Where are we going next? We just finished. Um, we should do like a little outdoor uh, indoor bar. Yes. Okay. We I have some drinks to go. And we finished I was, four of these pictures. I don't know why I'm so thirsty to um, do hookah. I was looking for a hookah lounge. Oh, yeah. We could do it. Is that place there? open that you went for your birthday? Let me see. You should check. What about the that one that Josh me to? Where did he take you? It was like, it was weird. Not weird, but it's like an Indian restaurant that's okay. also a hookah lounge. But I don't think anybody actually Ask him where to go. What's he doing? It's like the Rashina would go. He'd be out all, <laughs> he'd be he'd be out all outside. Right now. <laughs> what do you think the vibe's gonna be like when we get to uh, Ballpark Village? The vibe's gonna be everything because we saw it. Okay, alright. <laughs> Her. We're gonna have fun and I'm already. Turn that, turn that. I feel right, like every time lit. I'm with you, we're always like. <laughs> a little lit. Definitely always sure. For sure. Chug these before you go in. No, I cannot chug all mine. Uh, yes. I'll chug in, mine in just frame. because oh, we're no. all together. Taylor, get in. Oh, no. All right, finish up. Finish Cheers. it now. Cheers. Cheers. I just did one. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> <laughs> so much. Oh, wait, wait. I love how we're like, yeah, this is for sure orange juice. This is definitely, no one is gonna look at this and be like, this is orange juice. <laughs> In the afternoon, yeah, on no Juneteenth, care. like no one's walking around with orange juice. <laughs> for sure. We don't really know if it's legal to walk around with alcohol in St. Louis or not. I know it is in like, like New Orleans, Vegas. I think it is, cause like. You think? I don't know, I have no idea. Cause, don't cause like some places we're doing to go stuff. Yeah, so they gave these to us to go, so I feel like you're not gonna give it to someone to go if it's not right. legal. If you can't, right. Right, cause then that's weird. I don't know. Here's Ballpark Village. Are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Drink it the fastest. That don't even make no sense. Okay, I have the youngest liver. This is 30 liver. years, okay? <laughs> the youngest mm. liver. <laughs> crash I'm so tired um but thank you guys for watching this little like weekend of my life I obviously didn't vlog on um Sunday because I was with my dad and then my um father-in-law for Father's Day and we just kind of like hung out and just like chilled at the house we didn't do anything crazy but Today was fun, it was great, celebrating Juneteenth with my cousins, and then yesterday, or the day before yesterday and the day before that, were also really fun, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys wanna see more videos like this that are just like chill, like everyday, like daily vlog type things, let me know. I feel like I do 
a lot of vlogs that are like travel vlogs or I'll do like shop with me's and stuff, but I never truly know if people like actually are interested in like everyday life, you know? And so I like watching those kind of kind of vlogs from other people, but I never really know if like people like watching those on my channel. So let me know if you guys want to see more of those because I would love to share them. And see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.